In this video, I'm unboxing the new Star Wars Return of the Jedi Funko Pops, so stay tuned. <laughs> Next up we've got the Endor Han Solo. The pop features his iconic Endor jacket. The paint job on this is actually really good itself. Sadly the belt buckle is lost due to a lack of silver paint on it. However the jacket makes up for it in my opinion. I think Funko really captured the movement in the jacket. You'll also notice a significant change from the first ever Han Solo pop. It's not as clunky looking, there's a lot more detail, and you get to see here the development of the design. Sadly, the bottom of this version is very similar to the last action pose version of Han Solo that we had, and the top half pretty much looks very similar to number 47, the Hoth version of Han Solo. I would have liked to have seen a completely new design, but it's so much better than the first four or five versions that it's totally worth getting. And we're moving on next to Princess Leia. And next up we have Princess Leia. The first thing that really struck me about the design of this was that it is a much more soft and more feminine version of Leia, which is nice to see. And of course this outfit reminds me of the scene where Luke is telling Leia that Vader is his father and that she is of course his sister. I love the detail in the dress with the folds and her little sandals as well. But the standout thing to me is her hair. Love the detail on her hair. I think they really captured the movement of the hair and the braiding is beautiful on this. One thing I think Funko have done really well with Princess Leia Pops is that every single one has different hair. It highlights so many of the different styles that she's worn throughout the films and the franchise. And I absolutely love that about this pop. Alright guys, and we are moving on. And we've got Emperor Palpatine. The detail in this Funko Pop is actually incredible. I love the moulding of his face. I love the details in his garment with the cross-hatching and the movement that they've been able to capture, which is something they've been doing really well recently in my opinion. Again, we've got the lightning, which we saw in the three-pack. This is the fourth Emperor Palpatine we've ever had, and it's significantly different from anything else we've had. So definitely grab this if you are a Star Wars pop fan. It just, yeah, it just looks incredible. And we're moving on. And here's Wicket. He's so cute. The first thing I just want to talk about is the packaging. We have got packaging on the actual spear tip, which is great to see because that would have been the bit that would have actually broken a lot in transit. So I'm really happy that they've thought that through with the packaging. Now, the details in this guy is amazing. They've got a mouth, which we haven't seen in the previous version, a nose as well. The level of detail on the fur with the paint job, the mould, everything is amazing. The hood is completely different from the first version of him we had. The stitching on it is fantastic. The paint, the highlights, the lowlights. I love the placement of the spear, the way that he's holding it. This is a whole new wicket and he's definitely worth getting. And of course I have ordered the 10 inch version of him. So hopefully that will arrive soon. And let's move on to the very last one. Alright guys, last but not least we have Lando and I'm so glad they finally did an updated version of him in Pop. He looks so great, he's got his little good luck pose there, captured the movement again in the clothing, a fantastic job from Funko on the mould, the design and the paintwork on this one. I have to say the boots are like extremely shiny, I can't stop looking at them. Such a difference from the original pose, it just looks amazing and again... It's not as clunky as the original was. It's a fantastic addition to the Star Wars Funko Pop line. And I think this is probably my favourite out of all the ones I've opened today. Alright guys, so there we go. That's all the ones that I've received today. Like I said, I think Lando's definitely my favourite. Followed by Wicket, I think. Those two are definitely on the top of my list. We're still waiting on Darth Vader to arrive in both versions. The standard and the glow. As well as the 10 inch wicket 
and Baby Nippet, the flocked edition of that, and the Endor Encounter. So I'm super excited for all of those to arrive, and I'll probably do another video at that point. Now, you'll notice I didn't compare any of these to offshoots of, you know, the Star Wars franchise, such as the Han Solo movie and those pops that they did for that. I wanted to keep this solely to kind of the main franchise, so that's why I haven't really spoken about those pops. So I'm sorry if you're expecting a review based off those as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and join me on my collecting journey. Thanks, guys. Bye.